What is going on, guys? This is JYX412, and after all the bullshit that happened with PUBG and Xbox One, I didn't think it get any worse. But I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again. I need rings, Super Bowl size. I need a fine dime with some Super Bowl dots. You say you the truth, that's a Super Bowl lie. I flex on a nigga like a Super Swole guy. You come into the squad and you super gon' die. I make it look easy and I super don't try. It's funny, everybody always looking up to me, but I've always been a super short guy. Bye. So, what are we here to talk about? If you guys have not heard by now, a game called DayZ is coming to the Xbox One. That sounds fantastic, right? Because Xbox needs more games. What's the problem with Xbox getting more games? Well, here is the fucking problem, right? So, this game, DayZ, is right now, it's only on Steam. It's not on PS4 or anything else. It's only on Steam. And what it is, if you do not know, is a post-apocalyptic uh, zombie open world, you know, free shooter uh, survival game. Similar to like H1Z1, right? It's a very uh, big world. It's a very good premise for the game. It's been done before. But this game is coming. It's still in preview, mind you. It's still in preview, which is the whole point of this video. It's still in preview for the PC. Okay, and it's coming to Xbox in the game preview sometime in 2018. But here's the biggest problem, and here's why this game, this shit is even worse than PUBG. PUBG released 2017. I'll give it that. It released in preview that year, and they finally released a full game on PC, and it should be it should follow shortly on the Xbox. But this game here, DayZ, this game has been in early access pre-alpha since 20. 13 since 2013 for five years what in the fuck let me repeat that five years one two three four five five years this game has been in pre-alpha for five years this game is 35 dollars on steam and it's getting nothing but negative reviews of everything i've seen people say it's buggy uh it's optimized poorly the servers, apparently this game has nothing, nothing but issues, and the company who made it has not done much to address these problems in five fucking years. So now we established this game's been up for five years in pre-alpha with no indication when the fuck it's gonna be done. What do you think the, the most logical step is? What's the next step for this company? Hmm, well, you would think it'd be finishing the game, right? Especially the game that everybody paid $35 for, for five fucking years. You would think they'd say, hey, let's finish this game, let's optimize it, let's get this game done, over with, especially for the people who backed us through the whole development. Nope, the next logical step, let's get this unoptimized piece of shit game that we've been working on for five fucking years and not haven't done shit to apparently, let's try to get this, this game on another platform. Mind you, the Xbox One. But this company said to themselves, which the company's name is Bohemia in, uh, Interactive, which is a fuck name to begin with, but they said to themselves, hey, what platform could we throw this on hmm, to make a little more money on our unoptimized piece of shit game that's not even fucking done yet? Huh, how about the Xbox? Because they clearly don't give a fuck about quality control. They just released PUBG, and that game runs like dog shit. So this was a perfect fucking platform for them to put it on. It's a perfect thing to put in their goddamn sites and say, we're going to put it on that platform. Microsoft will have a problem with it because they're fucking desperate. Now let me say this real quick. I have never played DayZ. I'm not a PC guy, but I don't have to fucking play it to know that this game has been in development. I'm gonna say this a lot in this video for five fucking years. There's no sure coding that. There's no damage controlling that. There's nothing you can say to me that's gonna change my mind about that. Any game that's been in pre-alpha for five years, something is fucked. Whether it's the development team, whether the game just can't fucking work, uh, they ran out of money, something. There is a goddamn problem. Now, I don't know how many copies this thing sold, I'm not sure how popular it was, but I don't give a fuck. It sold enough. They've been telling, they've been charging people $35 for one, for a copy of it for five years now. They've racked up a lot of goddamn money since then, so where the fuck is the finished product? And that is my major problem with a lot of these preview games. Now, PUBG, as shitty as it is on the Xbox, has proven to be, they've been conscientious, right? They just finished their, uh, their, a PC version. The Xbox version is, I will give them this, getting regular updates. It should be done from the fucking beginning, but they are updating this thing, and apparently it's getting better and better and better. Apparently, I played it, I don't really see it too much, but eventually, I'm hoping they will get there, especially if they're gonna keep bundling this game with the Xbox One X, and now today, with the bundle with the Xbox One S. Now, I know I'm gonna hear this argument here, right? People are gonna say, if you don't like it, don't buy it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. No one's forcing you to buy it, it's just an option. That's why it's called Game Preview, because it gives you the option to support the development team through the development process. Well, let me tell you this. This company's track record so far has shown they've been charging $35 
for five years and the game is not a fucking finished product yet. They are dragging these people along and taking their money willingly. And if you can't see the fucking bigger picture here and see that this game preview is a goddamn problem, then I don't know what to tell you. It's not the fact that I know I'm not going to buy this bullshit. It's the fact that they're ripping people off and they're taking people's money and giving them nothing fucking back for it. So, are you guys excited? Are you guys excited for another preview game? Let me tell you this. I bought the Xbox One X November on launch day. And so far, the biggest title I've seen for this thing so far, first, not first part was, biggest title so far is PUBG, which looks like shit and came to hit a steady 30 FPS. Now we're getting DayZ, who knows when, 2018, and this game is apparently way, way worse, and I can't even imagine that. So I am so happy so far with my purchase. I'm so happy I bought an Xbox One X. I'm so happy that in, in March, I get to play Sea of Thieves in fucking 4K. It looks like a goddamn clay movie. It looks like Nightmare Before Christmas or some shit like that. The art style is weird, but I'm, at least I get to play it in fucking 4K. I'm so happy so far I bought the Xbox One X. Fantastic. But hey, at least I get to look at fucking water and see if these is 4K. That fucking water looks fantastic. So let me end by saying this. You got some people who were excited that we're getting DayZ, a five-year-old preview game, on the Xbox One exclusively for now. They said they do have plans to release on PS4 in the future. But right now, PS4 doesn't have a, uh, a game preview program, and I wonder why that is. But I don't know, guys. I, I don't like it. I don't think it's right, especially for this particular game here. I can see player knows battlegrounds and how, how popular it is. Business-wise, it was a smart move by Microsoft to bring it to the Xbox One X. It made sense. This game is not as commercially uh, accepted. It's not as commercially popular. It's not out there like that, right? I know people know about DayZ, but there's nowhere near the level of player in those battlegrounds. But they are bringing this game here knowing, knowing that this game is horseshit. This game is terrible. And this game is proven by the fact it's been five fucking years and pre-alpha with no indication of when it's gonna be done especially not anytime soon i don't know guys i don't know fuck that i'm not celebrating this you got some people that are i am not this is not a one from microsoft this is a fucking fail if anything bullshit so what do you guys think about this uh do you guys think it's a good idea to bring daisy to the console do you guys get are you guys against it let me know in the comment section below uh that's it guys if you like this video like come subscribe all that bullshit Fuck, slur my words so much, can't fucking talk! Talk to you guys next time, thanks.